mask with the unit. Good evening. This week, the local debate over gun violence could come to a boiling point. Those on both sides of this gun debate are passionate. They're all against the recent random gun violence, and they all want to protect themselves. But some with firearms and others with tougher laws. Sometimes things so horrible happen. Sometimes things so horrible happen. Sometimes things so horrible, so horrible, so horrible happen. We remember all who have died from gun violence. We march because we long for a different way. Sometimes people get trapped by their own feelings of helplessness. We march to symbolize our move from mourning, 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 our move from mourning to action. Tonight, hundreds in Seattle were compelled to take a first step. People are fed up. We remember all those who died in an attempt to protect others from harm, 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 protect others from harm. Both are compelled to stand up, to speak out, to do something. You had an amazing year. It's been pretty incredible, yeah. Is it worse to describe it? Shocking, exhilarating, terrifying in moments, <laughs> but, but all in all, pretty, pretty, pretty great. You know, um, shocking, exhilarating, terrifying in moments, <laughs> but, but all in all, pretty, pretty, pretty great. You look 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 very beautiful tonight. Your first, you're afraid to ask for the number, now the breakup is... Your first, you're afraid to ask for the number. Now the breakup is this. Are we hearing about your first? You're afraid to ask for the number. Now the breakup is this. Sonzi Coney Williams was heading south down the Florida Turnpike when something went bump. I was driving about 60 miles an hour. He never moved. And so I said, oh my God, I hit a bird and I felt so bad. Next day when she was out running errands. There was a family that pulled in front of my parking space and flagged me down and said, don't move, don't move. You have um, something in the grill of your truck. And I said, yes. And I said, what is it? They said, it's an owl. And I said, an owl? Big yellow eyes staring back from behind the grill of her SUV. I'm about to faint. First law enforcement to spot the suspect in the stolen car were two fish, two, two, two fish. First was a purple Nissan, which he ultimately appeared to have been driving too fast. The first was a purple Nissan, was a purple Nissan, purple Nissan, purple Nissan. Two fish, two, two, two fish. Lost control of the vehicle, crashed it. Who owns the food industry and the pharmaceutical industry and the food industry? So the food industry wants to make you sick and ill by putting all these chemicals in that rot your body and make you ill. So they then can give you tablets to make you better, which don't, because it's all about Illuminati industries making money. All about what? Illuminati families making money in the world. <laughs> well, I'm Shelly Jenica, and I'm a 100 meter hurdler. The falling stars will be visible with the naked eye. This is my midlife crisis, the banks. <laughs> I couldn't get a sports car, they won't let me bungee jump, so instead I, I cut my bangs. So you went here. for so. the bang. Whoa, whoa. Take him now, take him now, take him now. Somebody take him now. Hi, we're here in the White House kitchen looking for a healthy snack to eat. As good at it as she is, Michelle Obama's not got a new job as a children's TV presenter. From Unibot Pictures comes a thrilling milestone in the science fiction genre. Gee, Sally Mae, I, I sure am having a swell time sitting here with you. Oh, George, me too. Saturn, you'll witness the fantastic events that may happen in the near future. 
Um, we started noticing when Koi was about 18 months, as soon as she could express herself, that she was really expressing that she was a girl. And, you know, of course at that time our thought was that she was a little boy that liked girls' things, and it wasn't until she started becoming depressed and anxious that we knew that there was something more going on and took her to medical professionals. Um, who, who then, you know, told us that she did, she was in fact transgender, and everything was going well in first grade, and then out of the blue, the school contacted us to tell us that they were going to be changing, and she was not going to be allowed to use the girls' restrooms anymore. A Centralia mother is accused of allowing her 22-month-old to use a marijuana bong. She was arrested and her child placed in protective custody. Como Force Keith Eldridge is live at the Lewis County Courthouse where the woman just appeared before a judge. Keith? Yeah, the laws in the state are loosening with regards to marijuana use, but one thing that has not changed, and that's the law preventing the use of marijuana by a child. Not even two years old, and this child allegedly is forced to take a hit from a marijuana bomb. Meet Dominique the pig. He's putting these firefighters to test in Somerset. The 14 stone porker, now nicknamed Fireman Ham, was helping teach crews how to herd animals in case they have to rescue them for real. 今年一月份以来不断有市民反映在上海市黄浦江上游的松江区发现了大量的死猪到底是怎么回事呢在范家公路北端的横辽金河面记者看到一头几百斤重的死猪四脚朝天浮在水面旁边有一只体型稀小的
the Ukrainian coffin maker has seen a chance to make some money out of the living. After all, death is usually a bit of a shock, usually quite sudden. Wouldn't it be great if someone could help us get used to the idea of being dead? At one time, our parents, as a rule, kept a coffin in the attic. Then our grandma, who didn't have an attic, came to us because she lived in an apartment. She asked us to make something that she could put in her apartment, so we decided to make her a coffin couch. We lay down on it in the evening and slowly get used to eternity. All right, so we're gonna look at some pictures today from a set of spring breakers. Behind the scenes shit. Looks like Vanessa and Ashley in ski masks. So this was their, the pink ski mask with the unicorn patches was their robbing mode. Kind of goon, gangster. So this was their, the pink ski mask with the unicorn patches. So this was their, the pink ski mask with the unicorn patches. So this was their, the pink ski mask with the unicorn patches. So this was their, the pink ski mask with the unicorn patches. Check your cupboards this weekend. There's a nationwide recall of canned tuna. Seals on cans may be faulty that could make the food vulnerable to spoilage and contamination. The recall involves the brand names Bumblebee, Chicken of the Sea, and 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 It's just a few short steps down to an incredible underground site, a massive sinkhole carved out of solid limestone by drops of water. So this is what a sinkhole looks like from the inside. From the inside, yes. Geologist Jerry Black says, geologist Jerry Black says, geologist Jerry Black says. A sinkhole suddenly opens up swallowing a security guard. The horrifying moment captured by cameras in Shenzhen City, China, Yang Xibing was buried as people tried to reach him. Just moments earlier, residents had complained of tremors coming from a nearby construction site. An investigation is now underway as workers fill the hole with sandbags. Incredible to see like that, David. I mean, do you, do you know like how deep that one is and also how many there are in Florida? Well, there are thousands across the state of Florida, literally thousands that pop up every single year. Well, there are thousands, literally thousands that pop up. Well, there are thousands, literally thousands that pop up. Well, there are thousands, literally thousands that pop up. Well, there are thousands, literally thousands that pop up. Well, there are thousands, literally thousands that pop up. Well, there are thousands, literally thousands every single year. One billion. <laughs> it's over there, Lord. <laughs> <laughs>